Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got something a little bit different, not our usual mechanical keyboard reviews. A little while back, one of you commented in the comments of one of our videos and recommended that we purchase this mouse and we did and it turns out I really, really, really like it. So here we are doing a straightforward and honest, never scripted review on the Cooler Master MM711 mouse in glossy white. So let's start with a disclaimer saying that I know next to nothing about mice. I don't play any FPS's, although I used to only on the Xbox One, so I got nothing on PC gaming there. But I do play some MOBAs and then I play MMORPGs as well. So it's not like I'm clueless, clueless. You know, I still use a mouse and I know what DPI is. So not clueless, but I'm gonna tell you guys about my experience with this mouse for the past month now of regular daily use. So this mouse comes in at about $50. It comes in different colors, black or white. And then from out of those, you can pick the glossy or the matte. And this is the glossy white as you can see light shines through it really well and it is super lightweight before i was using a steel series rival 100 mouse it's a lot heavier than this and it didn't look as great and it didn't feel as great in my hand either this mouse features an ambidextrous shape that means it's completely symmetrical except for the location of the two thumb buttons on the left hand side. So if you're left handed and you're using this, you would have to use your ring and pinky fingers to press it. I'm not sure how that would pan out, but I'm sure you're used to that by now. But if you're right handed, you can use your thumbs to press the two side buttons. It has RGB lighting. When you turn on RGB, it has lighting in the scroll wheel, in the hump of the mouse and on the two sides. Too, and you can download the Cooler Master software, which is available online, and it allows you to edit a ton of different things about this mouse. You can change the button function, so you can change the scroll and what the wheel click does, what the right click does, what the side buttons do. A lot of things you can change here, very customizable. You can change the lighting effects as well. There's different effects. So there's a static one, which means you pick one color and it'll be like that all the time. I use a green color since that matches with my keyboard RGB too. There's breathing, which means it'll get brighter and then not be as bright and then get brighter again. We have color cycle, which means you can pick different colors and it'll cycle through between those colors. That's what you see when you have that whole like red to purple and back to red kind of thing when it comes to RGB lighting. And there's the indicator color. So the DPI settings on this mouse are associated with a specific color. So if you choose that indicator one, whatever color setting your DPI is set to, that will be the color. So DPI, this thing goes from 200 to 16,000 DPI. And I believe I'm using about 1200, which is the default. So I'm pretty basic in that sense. It's rated up to 20 million clicks. That is a ton. And it also sounds very nice. And the scroll wheel is really quiet yet tactile. So you can feel when it's scrolling and like there's slight clicks, but it's really quiet. The left and right buttons are much louder than what I'm used to, but I really dig it. It sounds super nice. And now the best part of the mouse is in fact the cable. The cable is, they call it an ultra weave cable, but wherever you put it, it sort of just maintains its shape. I call it the shoelace cable because that's what it feels like. It's braided at the top of the mouse. There is this rubber tip so that the mouse knows that it should point up this way instead of being stuck on the side or something like that. 
It makes it hard to customize is what I've heard. I have no experience in paracording or customizing your mouse cables at all. Maybe someday I'll try it, but I heard it's difficult with a mouse like this one. At the back, we see the three feet and this is made of PTFE and it helps you control your mouse and is really smooth when gliding on surfaces. They do come with extra feet in the box. One problem that I found with the feet is that it tends to accumulate dust in between the feet and between the place where the feet should live. Alongside that, we have the honeycomb pattern of the mouse. At first, it sort of creeped me out because I don't really like holes on things. But if you're not too focused on the holes, it looks really nice. With the RGB, it's not scary at all. Without the RGB though, it looks like there's dark holes everywhere. And I'm not into that. I have a fear of holes. Comment down below if you have a fear of holes too and you're looking into something that has some uneven holes and it just seems like it's going to nowhere and, and it gives you the creeps. So that's what I have. But with the RGB, perfectly fine. It has a very subtle Cooler Master logo. You wouldn't even know unless you recognize that that little hexagon, rounded hexagon shape was Cooler Master. So overall, really easy to use. Another problem I found is that over time, dust can start to accumulate in the honeycomb shape of the mouse, but I just use a Q-tip every once in a while and just clean it regularly. If you look here, I spilled some ink on the side and it wouldn't wipe off. And I don't want to use any oil or any alcohol on it just in case it might ruin the plastic. It is all ABS plastic and it weighs 60 grams. So cable is about 6 feet, although you won't need it to be that long. It's just super easy to use compared to other cables where it'll, it'll start pulling on your mouse and you have to pull back. In that case, using a bungee would help, but you don't even need a bungee with this mouse. Okay, back to the software. So there's, you can edit a lot of other things like the polling rate, angle snapping, the lift off distance, the angle tunability and sensitivity. There's a lot of that that I don't understand, but if you do, you can edit those things. It also lets you create macros and can store up to five profiles all right, let's do a mouse accuracy test that I see everybody doing. Don't expect too much. I'm not much of a gamer. All right, that was the mouse test. Hope you liked it and don't judge, but if you did, comment down below. If you are, that's okay. It's an overall very nice mouse for about $50, super lightweight and very easy to use. Looks great on anyone's desk. Comes in two colors, glossy or matte too, so. We love it. I plan on using it for a pretty long time, so if you see it again, that's why. If you liked the video and enjoyed it, press that like button. Click here for a playlist on all of, our, all of our mechanical keyboard reviews. And press here for some more peripheral reviews that aren't mechanical keyboard related that we've done. And subscribe here if you want to. And I'll see you in the next one.